Google Research Today announced a brand new model, Pathways Language Model, Palm. How's that for a cool name? It is the most number of parameters that we've got for an actual working model so far. 540 billion parameters. It is trained on multilingual data sets, not just English Wikipedia, but uh, quite a number of different languages through the Wikipedia data sets, through conversational data sets, and of course through Common Crawl. So it's uh, quite an advancement on where we've been since GPT-3, and it's a really exciting day because it was just announced this morning. This brings us even closer to human intelligence. Have a look at these charts. So GPT-3 and Jurassic 1 were taking us quite close to human performance in some subtests. And in fact, they were beating humans in things like trivia and uh, the SAT analogies subtests. But look how much closer we're getting. The purple bars there are palm and it is doing amazing things. So it's not publicly released yet, but we're gonna use the questions and answers that were inside the paper. And we're gonna get this new avatar to play around with it for us. So there's actually two surprises today. Synthesia have released an avatar that also has these randomized gestures, these randomized hand and half body movements. So we're going to get this palm guy to uh, answer the questions that are in the paper so that we can actually see and hear them rather than just read text. He looks pretty excited, so let's get going. I was supposed to start writing the paper at 5 p.m., but then I started playing with this cool new language model for 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, it's suddenly 9.30 p.m. Explain that joke. This joke is about how time flies when you are having fun. The person was supposed to start writing a paper at 5 p.m., but they started playing with a language model instead. They thought they were only playing with it for 10 minutes, but it was actually four and a half hours. I was gonna fly to visit my family on April 6th. My mum said, oh great, your stepdad's poetry reading is that night. So now I'm flying in on April 7th. Explain that joke. The joke is that the speaker's mother is trying to get them to go to their stepdad's poetry reading, but the speaker doesn't want to go, so they are changing their flight to the day after the poetry reading. Reading War and Peace doesn't scare me. I once had to review the CL for my intern's whole project on his final day. Explain that joke. War and Peace is a very long book, so reading it is a daunting task. However, the speaker is saying they had to review the code for their intern's project on their final day, which is even more daunting. I think I understand why me and my partner are such a good match. I get excited when I smell food and become super alert when the doorbell rings. My girlfriend Shelly becomes ecstatic when she sees a person who she just saw five hours ago. Explain that. This joke is about dogs. Dogs get excited when they smell food and when the doorbell rings. The girlfriend is excited to see someone she just saw five hours ago, which is a trait of dogs. I tried 10,000 random restarts of my neural network, but I was accused of overfitting. I guess no good seed goes unpunished. Explain that nerdy joke. This joke is a pun. A neural network is a computer program that can learn from data. A seed is a number that is used to initialize a random number generator. A good seed is a number that produces a good random number generator. The phrase no good deed goes unpunished means that if you do something good, you will be punished for it. What's the difference between a zebra and an umbrella? One is a striped animal related to horses. Another is a device you use to stop the rain from falling on you. Explain that joke. This joke is an anti-joke. The joke is that the answer is obvious and the joke is that you were expecting a funny answer. Awesome. This is inference chaining where we give a whole bunch of logic and see if it can spell out the, well, sometimes the complex questions to generate a final answer. Here's an example. When I found out my grandma was in the hospital, I felt a particular color. When someone cut me off in traffic, I felt a particular different color. What is the most likely color I would see if I combined these two colors? The color that I felt when I found out my grandma was in the hospital was likely a sad color, like blue. 
The color that I felt when someone cut me off in traffic was likely an angry color, like red. If I combined these two colors, I would likely see purple. The answer is purple. Michael is at that really famous museum in France, looking at its most famous painting. However, the artist who made this painting just makes Michael think of his favorite cartoon character from his childhood. What was the country of origin of the thing that the cartoon character usually holds in his hand? The most famous painting in the Louvre is the Mona Lisa. The artist who made the Mona Lisa is Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is also the name of the main character in the cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leonardo da Vinci is from Italy. The thing that Leonardo da Vinci usually holds in his hand is a katana. The country of origin of the katana is Japan. The answer is Japan. Guido was writing a Python program. He keeps getting confused by variable scope and looking it up on Stack Overflow. Is it possible that the Guido in the prompt refers to Guido Van Rossum? Guido Van Rossum is the creator of Python. He would not need to look up variable scope on Stack Overflow. The answer is no. Trevor has wanted to see the mountain with all the heads on it for a long time. So he finally drove out to see it. What is the capital of the state that is directly east of the state that Trevor is currently in? The mountain with all of the heads on it is Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is in South Dakota. The state directly east of South Dakota is Minnesota. The capital of Minnesota is St. Paul. The answer is St. Paul. Jennifer looked out her window and sees a really cool cloud below her. She unbuckles her seatbelt and heads to the bathroom. Is Jennifer probably traveling more than 300 miles per hour relative to the Earth? 300 miles per hour is about 480 kilometers per hour. This is about the speed of a commercial airplane. Clouds are usually below airplanes, so Jennifer is probably on an airplane. The answer is yes. That's it, that's 11 questions. You'll notice that the inference chain questions in the paper were quite complex and you might even struggle to find humans that can answer those without getting a pen and paper and really having a think through. You'll also have noticed that the jokes weren't particularly funny. They were designed, created, written by the Google research team for the Palm paper because they wanted to have completely new, completely unique bits of text that had never existed before. So those jokes, those strings are completely new, completely random, and also completely not funny, um, <laughs> but a great example of what is possible today. And just look how much further we've come with getting these large language models up to the level of human IQ, and in a lot of cases, beating humans at these IQ subtests. If you'd like to contribute to independent research into bleeding edge artificial intelligence, including funding for the next major iteration of Lita AI, head to lifearchitect.ai slash gift.